There seems to be a flurry of fly activity around here now. Hello, everybody. Sorry, we are live. I'm not copying the final control, but we are live. I was just saying to David that there are flies everywhere, and the reason for that is that Hosanna very kindly went to retrieve the stomach contents of the diker, and he then brought it to within sort of, oof, I don't know, about 10 feet of us, and then left it. And now the flies are very excited. And so there are flies everywhere. I'm not sure what's arrested her attention. I think it's probably a bird sitting in the tree above her. Or the zebra's moving past. It's actually the zebra. Look at this. Isn't this wonderful? That's him again, sorry. That's very cool. So he's really starting to wander. Oh, he's stalking something. You know what he's stalking? He's stalking the zebra, which is completely ridiculous, of course. But he spotted them, and like any cat, he's thinking about, could he catch them? I've seen two male leopards, two young male leopards, sort of about, I don't know, six months older than he is, stalking a rhino before. So they do like to just test themselves. He would get himself into a lot of trouble if those leopards, if those zebras saw him. And his mum watches contentedly from behind. Where well, the sister's gone now. You see her, Dave? I was so captivated by um, this young male and his uh, very kind deposit of the morning haggis. Oh, there he goes. Look at him. How cool is this? I don't want to move. But I think I might have to. And now he's gone to sleep. So he's having a little sort of playful stalk there. He's not being serious about it at all. But he's seeing how close he can get. He's practicing that kind of stalk close to the ground with his shoulder blade stuck up and his head tucked in. And the zebra have no idea that he's there. What I'm going to do is just move slightly back. The queen is eating her breakfast. I don't know where young Shongalai has gone. He's, he's moving, he's stalking them. Oh dear. Okay, I'm going to stop here. There we go. He's going to break cover now. He's now about 30 meters, so 100 feet from the zebra. Let me move once more. Sorry, everyone. I don't want to miss this if he does actually try something stupid, which will be very funny indeed. Look, look, look. He's still, he's still stalking. Let me get my head out of the way. I'm Oh, sorry, there's a big stick in the way. There we go, I'll try and get you a view of all of them together. Yeah, that's going to be classic. He's just behind the tree there. He's now 100 feet from them. There is one young zebra here. Oh, he's still much, much, much too big. You see him there, Dave? You can see the zebra in the background. They have no idea that there's a little leopard watching them. Isn't this cool? He got himself into the perfect position. He thinks he's very, very clever at this stage. He also doesn't realize that if they happen to look this way and they see him move, the game will immediately be up, and this is how he will learn. He will also hopefully learn that stomach contents are not something that you want to put all over your face if you don't want flies on your face. 
which is that's why there's flies on him. Now there's no cover for him anymore, so he's oh, it doesn't matter there. Here he goes again. Now he has not thought this through. He's just doing what cats do. When they see things to stalk, they stalk them. And like I say, a zebra can be a tremendously vicious creature. He does not want to be knocking around in the open where he can't get up a tree or escape from them. Now, whether or not he knows that yet or not, I'm not sure. But he'll find out very quickly if he breaks cover now. This is wonderful. You can get sort of an idea there. You, you can't, we can't get both the one that he's looking at and him in picture. Because it's grazing past, what is it, Dave? Probably about, oof. yeah, I'll say 30 meters, 100 feet or so. That's the one he's closest to. <laughs> and if I'm not mistaken, let me just look carefully. There now, he's feeling slightly foolish. No, that is a mare, it's not a stallion. Oh, this is spectacular. See him panting? That's because his belly's so full. Doesn't preclude his stalking, though now, that zebra's moved out of line, and he will know that the zebra's backside is facing him and that its eyes are not. So it's quite possible that he will now try and break cover again and see what happens. Well, now the f little the female's coming up behind us. Now, honey's ocelot, you've asked a very, very good question, and there's quite a nice answer to it. You want to know why he wasn't stalking the guinea fowl? Um, yesterday, now, for those of you who weren't with us yesterday, we found them on the back end of some guinea fowl alarm calls. Now, the very fact that the guinea fowls are alarm calling indicates that they had seen the leopards, and the leopards know when they've seen, been seen. They know what the alarm call means. This is just too perfect. She's now stalking her brother who does not know that she's there. How cool is this? <laughs> now the zebra's seen. You see the zebra run in the background there? He says, leave me alone, I'm stalking zebra. Now she's, they're both there, that is, that is fantastic. Now the zebra have seen them. Davy, just in front of us, you can see they're looking there. Oh, that's brilliant. I'm sorry, honey's ocelot. When those guinea fowl, once they started alarming, what they did was they followed the leopards, shouting at them, and they stayed.